The Quincy blood has become tainted in this week's Bleach Chapter 534, Everything But the Rain, 7. So we open with a nice color page and see Rangiku is furious after discovering Ishin has left for the human world without an excuse. Wonder what he's up to. <laughs> Would you get out of here? Moving right along, Misaki comes back home and is confronted by her aunt about saving a Shinigami and being attacked by a hollow the other night. Ryukin sees this and immediately goes to Katagiri and freaks out on her for squealing to his mother. However, she blames him because he said it himself that the future of the Quincy blood mustn't be spoiled. When Ryukin tries to cover for Misaki, she suddenly collapses and we now see she has a hollow hole appearing in her chest. Ryukin takes off with her in hopes of finding his father while blaming himself for her condition. Just as they're about to be attacked by a hollow, Ishin arrives to save the day. No! To continue, Ishin sees Misaki's condition and Ryukin is enraged, blaming him for bringing her such harm. Before shit starts to get real, Urahara arrives and says he can save the young girl. So yeah, back to back weeks of meh for me. Biggest thing that happened was the appearance of Misaki's hollow hole. Obviously it's because of the hollow bite, but I'm surprised it's having this kind of effect on her. I honestly thought it was going to be lying dormant until Ichigo's birth, but like I said last week, I think the hollow reacted to Urahara's Hogyoku when Misaki passed him. Speeding up the hollow's process of taking over. I think the cause of the problem will end up being the solution next week when Urahara uses the Hogyoku to save Misaki. And other than that, not much else happens, so I'm sorry I don't have much to say about this chapter. But one thing I noticed that I think is worth mentioning is that did anyone else notice the small panel of Ryukin's mother chasing after him and it's just her leg? You can clearly see that she has some sort of scar, almost as though she was attacked by a hollow too. I have no idea if this is going to be significant in the slightest, but it could give her a reason to not be so upset with Misaki since she was attacked by a hollow as well. So, like I said, overall, just meh for me this week. Nothing really happened except a lot of bitching. Oh! Bitch, bitch, bitch. Masaki's hollow hole and Urahara confronting Ryukin and Ishii. For my question of the week, what ideas do you think Urahara has for saving Masaki? Alright, remember to comment with your thoughts on the chapter in answer to my question in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more weekly Bleach chapter reviews and don't forget to check out my DeviantArt and Twitter pages. I apologize for the quick review today, but I will be back next week for chapter 535. Peace.